Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and into another grocery haul video. I um, spent $185 at Walmart picking up a couple things. It's been a while since, about three weeks or so, since we went to Sam's Club and I find myself running out of things. I spent like $300 at Sam's Club and this is $185. I generally, when I do grocery shopping like once a week, it's usually about 150 bucks. So either my family is eating and consuming way more um, in the last few weeks or groceries are going up. You tell me which one it is. Um, also, before we get started, if you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm going to share with you, do I hear a cat? I'm gonna share with you um, what we eat as a family of five, sometimes six, depending on the day or time or whomever might be over at my house. I have three boys and uh, they have people over all the time. So um, anyway, I'm going to turn you guys around and we're going to get started. I did hear a cat. Disregard my hardwood floors. Listen, y'all, it's nasty, slushy, snowing, raining outside. Um, we live out in the country, so there's boots involved, and I refuse to mop the floor until it's dry again. Um, but the cats were playing in the bags over here. Uh, first things first, I got three of those. There's one over there on the counter. Um, the body armor is something that we, you know, we just can't keep um, on hand. My family drinks those like they're like it's water. My family drinks a lot of water also, um, but they drink those too. So anyway, what you see here is a naughty cat. Sorry about that. I had to remove the cat. I don't care if they stay down here and play in the bags like this young man um but i my cats know they're not supposed to be on the counter so i think they do it because they know like inside consciously they know that i'm preoccupied all right anyway moving along we are going to just go ahead and get right into it somebody had asked me um to pop up on the screen um, the cost of things and I will try to work on figuring out how to do that um, in a future coming up video um, this one was recorded like the day after she asked me that in the comment box um, I will do my best to try to tell you the prices verbally um, as we're moving along through here uh, but I don't know exactly how to write up in the middle of a video the prices So I'll try to figure that out if I can get it done. I will more be more than happy to do that for you Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in um, We haven't had pork chops for a while. Um, I am a big component of boneless things. I don't like the bone um, this uh, Guy here cost me eight dollars and fifty seven cents um which is about right i'm trying to figure out if the why is my camera not focusing are we like too far in what is happening okay well whatever uh somebody's been playing with my camera at eight dollars and 57 cents um this is probably a this is a pretty big package it is um two pounds 33 this will do my family plus there'll be leftovers for a meal um we're also going to be having pigs in a blanket so i got some hot dogs right there these are not the hot dogs that i generally buy they didn't have the all beef ones um, but we'll make do with those i got some yo crunch m m yogurts for lunch boxes We've got a thing, three things of jumbo biscuits right here. Um, I want to say that this was $2.50 um, and this was probably 
250 something 238 something like that these I know for certain was a dollar and eight cents and the only reason why I know that is because they substituted it and I seen it um, in the substitution so there's three of those I got the stuff to make breakfast one night or over the weekend sometime and then also for the pigs in a blanket so there's that I am pretty sure groceries went up um, because now that I'm thinking about it this is all stuff that I normally anyway um, we got two things of animals we got the rough rough raspberry in the Paw Patrol variety and then we also got the cotton candy animals you guys know if you guys watch my lunchbox video that that's just life in my household I am blown away as to how I did this okay I must have looked one up and then ended up getting the other kind too I don't know how I how what kind of sorcery this was but I don't know how I did it anywho I got two boxes of them it's not like they won't get eaten um, but we really just didn't need two boxes I still have probably half of the box that we got from Sam's Club left I just don't like to run out because Liam eats these with his medicine in the morning um, on the way to school or before we hit the road we live about 20 minutes from school so he generally eats the muffins, takes the medicine, and then by that time we're at school. We got a box of the honey buns for my husband. He's having a little bit of a tooth issue going on. Um, like his wisdom teeth is coming out in the back. You know, we're like 30, 40 years old these days. So I don't know exactly how that's happening or why that's happening. But anyway I figured I get this because they're soft and he can take them to work with them to eat for breakfast fudge rounds this um, thing of honey buns was three dollars and fifty cents this uh, fudge rounds I know for certain the price of these went up because they used to cost 180 and now they're 260 and I was complaining about that whenever I was making my Walmart grocery pickup um, order and let me tell you something uh, whenever I realize the price of I don't know if it's just Walmart grocery pickup where the price is different but if I go into the store and I see that these are $1.80 in the store I'm gonna be real upset um, you guys let me know is it $1.80 in the store or is it $2.60 in the store um, because if that's the case I will be going in to get my groceries because they're up charging by like 50 or 60 70 cents on everything on Walmart grocery pickup so anywho also I'm curious to know everybody out there who's watching this video I want you to go to the Walmart app if you have it and look up for your area how much a box of eight fudge round individually wrapped Debbie cakes are um, I'm curious to know if people from different places like different cities and zip codes pay a different price I'm curious at my Walmart grocery pickup in southeast Missouri two dollars and sixty cents you guys let me know go and look it up on your guys's app and tell me what it costs in your area I'm curious to know if it's different or not I'm also curious to know if it's different in the store than on Walmart's grocery pickup anywho all right enough ranting we got Welch's fruit snacks these cost me way more money than I thought that they were going to the big box usually costs about three dollars and fifty eight cents or something and this cost me like 283 for the little tin pouches box I really should have paid more attention but I wasn't expecting Walmart to lose their cool I've never had this problem before um, and now that I've seen one little thing I'm rethinking my whole life I got some mandarin oranges I got two of those and then I got no sugar added peaches the this one it must have been on the wrong shelf because I ordered no sugar added mandarin oranges and I got one no sugar added and one in a hundred percent juice so we'll see whatever um, we have the strawberry drink enhancers for my husband I should have rethought this um, fruit right now my area uh, fresh fruit is just not the greatest looking so that's the reason why I have those things I got a box of these goldfish um, extreme cheddar flavor okay 
Um, I can't remember how much that costs. That's a 12 pack for lunch boxes. Uh, they're usually four or five dollars. I got some brown gravy package, which were 40 cents a piece. Um, they substituted these for reduced sodium. Um, which is fine because if it just needs more salt, I'll just add it. No problem. We got some barbecue chips right here These are like a dollar 40 44 um, Ego my Legos. No, not Legos. Ego my Oh, I don't know your waffles the frozen waffles we have um, this small box that cost me like $2 and something. I can't remember. These potatoes. I wanted the big 10-pound bag of rested potatoes. They gave me two 5-pound bags of yellow classic potatoes. And I realize that we are in the middle of a snowstorm around here. But, I mean, why do people go to the store and just like buy up everything every time there's snow coming? Or ice coming. I mean, I can understand ice. I can understand picking up a few necessities, okay? But listen, you can't be up here either. You cannot, okay? Get down. I don't know who you think you are. Anyway, um, people go crazy, okay? People go crazy. I got a thing of hash browns down there. We got a box of Hot Pockets. Jack has Oh, a friend over um, last night. He has since gone home, you know, because of the snow and that. Um, but they probably ate half a box of Hot Pockets, so just replacing them. Here is the other container of body armor. This is in the mango orange, which is Liam's favorite. I have a box of trash bags. These are the 33-gallon hefty trash bags. They fit my big giant trash can. Um, I got some wet jet. For my floors, see I told you guys, I do clean my floors. I'm just not going to do it whenever they're just going to get dirty. Um, especially because we just redone these hardwood floors and the least amount of times I could put liquid on them, the better everybody is involved. We got some paper towels. We got the these things to go with that. We got this big box of um, Pop-Tarts. Now this does cost like $9 and... Uh, like 78 cents. So this is a $10 box of Pop-Tarts, but you know, I have four people that eat them in my house. Um, this thing here cost me $13. This cost like $7.14 or so. Um, that box of Hot Pockets is like $9.99, so it also cost me $10. Um, this thing right here for the two-pack was also $9. Um, I would have just purchased one. However, um, all they had was two packs, so I take it and I leave it. We got a thing of milk. Milk is ridiculous right now. $3.68 a gallon. Um, again, Star Crunch is in my area. Snack cakes, $2.60 a box for these 12 cookies. We got a box of Uncrustables. Let me tell you something about these Uncrustables too. I These are like $8 and like 58 cents a box of 10. Now, whenever I bought this, the grape ones were $8 and 58 cents. And the strawberry ones were like $6 and 58 cents. Now explain that to me. The grape costs more than the strawberry makes no sense. I'm really hoping that that was a fluke on Walmart's part, like on their online thing, because why would you charge somebody $2 more for a grape than you would strawberry? That makes no sense at all. Um, we got a thing of popcorn chicken here because we are going to be having KFC bowls at some point this week. We got a thing of white bread. We got a thing of A&W root beer. However, I always buy the Great Value Walmart brand for $3 um, for a 12 pack. They didn't have it, so they did substitute this um, A&W for that. We got the big container of Kids Crest toothpaste. That 100% sure is $1.97. Um, I know because I buy it all the time. Grapes over here. These are the red seedless grapes. They were $4 a pound. $4 a pound for them grapes. I got some bananas because, well, I wanted them. Um, and the bananas, I think, are busted. I'm going to have to eat that one. You see that? Busted. 
Um, I'm not really impressed with the Walmart grocery pickup this time, y'all. I'm going to have to say everything's messed up. And this is pork sausage down there for biscuits and gravy um, for that time that we're going to have um, breakfast for breakfast slash and or dinner. Um, anyway, I'm curious to know if the price of groceries went up or if it's just the price of online groceries that went up. I'm going to have to look at it next time, you know, after the snow subsides and I go into Walmart the next time because I will have to in the next couple of days um, to pick up my medication. Um, but I'm going to go over to the snack cakes and look in store if they're $1.80 or if they're $2.60 in store. Um, anyway, uh, so I guess the price of groceries is going up and or Walmart's trying to pull a fast one. Um, either way, we're going to get to the bottom of it. Um, anywho, this is $185 worth of stuff. Um, it does look like quite a bit, but I mean, I think that I spent an extra $30 on price increases than I would have elsewise. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know. Go look up in your Walmart apps what the price of these fudge rounds are. I'm curious. Um, and we will see you guys next week for another video. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to Sam's next, but it might be the next grocery video that you guys see. We'll see. Um, anyway, I uh, hope you guys have a great weekend or night or evening or morning whenever you're watching this video. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button before you go. And for those of you guys who keep coming back, thank you so very much. It really does mean the most. We will catch you guys next time. Bye.